White flag is raised now for the Diamond Stakes Group 3 race. And the last of the three runners now, Carla Blanca, comes forward. So the three runners for the Diamond Stakes, set to go, and they're off. As they make their way up in front of the stands, Carla Blanca is the leader, followed by Panama Hat on the outside of Unsinkable, dropping in the back mark of the three. As they go into the turn, Carla Blanca and Pat Smullen lead into the bend with Panama Hat close up on the outside, followed by Unsinkable. They make the turn that will take them now into the back straight. Carla Blanca and Pat Smullen leads. Panama Hat and Chris Hayes second, being followed by Unsinkable. Colin Keane, the three runners making their way into the back straight now and just about to pass the mile pole as Cara Blanca dictates affairs, followed by Panama Hat and Unsinkable. Racing on up the back straight, Cara Blanca in the lead from Panama Hat and Unsinkable. And that's the way the trio passed the seven furlong point with Cara Blanca in front. In second place, Panama Hat, and then just over a length to Unsinkable as the three runners continue towards the six furlong point. With Cara Blanca in the lead, followed by, in second place, Panama Hat, as they continue on up the far side, Unsinkable just in behind. So Carla Bianca takes them up towards the far turn with Panama Hat ranging up on the outside. They're closely followed by Unsinkable as they begin now to make the run to take them across towards the straight. Carla Bianca is the leader by half a length. Panama Hat second, Unsinkable just behind them. Three runners now begin to make the run for the approach to the straight with just a little over three furlongs to go. Carla Bianca with Panama Hat being pushed up on the outside now to try and force the issue. And they're followed by Unsinkable just in behind on the inside. So breasting the bend for home. Carla Bianca is the leader from Panama Hat, the near side, tracking Unsinkable as they race on now with a furlong and a half to go. Carla Bianca from Panama Hat and Unsinkable as they race now to the furlong point. Carla Bianca pressed on the near side by Panama Hat and Unsinkable just in behind them. Panama Ahead on the near side of Carla Bianca and Unsinkable racing inside the last hundred yards and Panama Hat's the leader as they go to the line. Panama Hat and Chris Hayes will win the diamond stakes from Carla Bianca second Unsinkable last of the trio. Result of the fifth race, the Diamond Stakes. One, three from two. One, three, two. And the distances were one length and one and a quarter lengths. One length and one and a quarter lengths. And the time taken, two minutes and 17.39 seconds. Two, 17.39. Now, a thrilling finish to our main event on the card here this evening, the Diamond Stakes, the Group 3 contest. And our winner, first past the post, number one on your race card, Panama Hat, trained by Andy Oliver, ridden by Chris Hayes. Second past the post was number three, Carla Bianca, 
Pat Smullen on board for Dermot Weld. And third past the post was number two, unsinkable. But Panama Hat is the winner of the Diamond Stakes. Top prices win one euro fifty cent. The exacto was two euro thirty cent, and the trifecta three euro. And just getting up onto our winner's podium, our winning trainer representing Team Valor, Jim Martin, the CEO of Dundalk Racetrack, presenting the trophy for the winning connections of number one, Panama Hat in the Diamond Stakes. Now, winner all right, winner all right. SP 8 to 11, favourite 9 to 4, 4 to 1. Now, in the seventh race, we have a withdrawal. Horse number five, Cartographic, has been withdrawn by permission of the stewards. 
That's in the seventh race. Horse number five has been withdrawn by permission of the stewards, leaving 13 runners. And on your screens now, they're running at Wolverhampton for the 7.45. Furlong yet to get past Lose Buddy, Ambleside a persistent challenger, then Torian on the rail from the third man, Ambleside gets to the front, inside the last, edging towards the inside and running on strongly, Ambleside holds on, bunch photo for second, the Dancing Lord was involved along with Skirmish the third man who didn't get the clearest of runs in the closing stage is also involved along with the long time leader Lose Buddy